Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Alec Murdoch case. Let's talk about Philip Jennings, the man who bought Alec Murdoch's couch for $36,000 at Liberty Auction. Philip Jennings, he's the one that bought the couch. Now let's talk about him a little bit. Who is Philip Jennings? Well, I'm gonna share some information about Philip Jennings with you right here. This is the man that bought the couch for $36,000. Also other items too that he got at the auction. Who is Philip Jennings who bought couch of Alec Murdoch for $36,000 at an auction? People from across the regions of Southeast gathered at an auction which was held on Thursday for the items which were inside Murdoch's home based in Culleton County, South Carolina. It's a hunting property called Muzel. Philip Jennings bought a couch. Who is Philip Jennings? This man paid $36,000 for Alec Murdoch's couch. Philip Jennings stated that it was comfortable and he does not believe he paid too much. Make it make sense. The auction was held around 100 miles away from Liberty Auctions situated in Georgia. The auction lasted for six hours. Stephen Duggar, an auctioneer who was handling the stale, said that the event was one of the largest auctions which I've seen here for sure. The owner of the auction, Lori, said that the Murdoch's lot was the largest lot ever sold. The bidding began around 4 p.m. in a room and the auction finally closed at 10.30 p.m. when all the items at Murdoch's house were sold. All items which were present at Murdoch's were marked by numbers 3335 and they have been sold for the higher than normal price. The family's couch was sold for $36,000 to buyer Philip Jennings. Philip Jennings is known for being the owner of Broom's Edge Rod and Gun, which is a hunting and lodging company situated in Georgia. The big ticket items that were at the auction were brown shining leather couch sets, which are named Alibi Couches. Jennings paid nearly $36,000 for that leather couch. I bought that sofa because I needed it, Jennings said, Court TV reported on Thursday. Jennings mentioned that the couch is absolutely comfortable and it has been projected that guests would take naps on this famous set of furniture. The couches were the highlight of the night, he added. He bought numerous beds, tackle box, and duck decoys that belonged to the Murdoch family. Apart from the set of couches, other items of the Murdoch family in the auction included mounted longhorns, which had sold for $10,000 in lamps that are adorned with tortoise shells and sold for $800. Philip Jennings. This is the Facebook page of Broom Sedge Rod and Gun. Philip Jennings owns this company. And this is the Facebook page of Broom Sedge Rod and Gun. Philip Jennings owns this business located in Sopperton, Georgia. It's a page of shooting and hunting range. 2.2 thousand likes. This is their page. So assuming that the Alec Murdoch couch and auction items that Philip Jennings bought at the Liberty auction will maybe end up at this place. Broom sedge, rod, and gun. They also have a Instagram page too. $36,000 for that couch. What's your thoughts? Do you think uh, he'll take that couch home? Do you think he'll put it at his job? Do you think he'll let people come and sit on it? Do you think he'll let people come and nap on Alec Murdoch's couch? I was there at that auction. If you want to know what it was like at the auction, check out my video. I was there for four and a half hours live streaming. It was fascinating. I never seen anything like that. But I noticed a lot of the items there sold for a premium, sold for three or four times the value. 
you know, a lot of that money there goes to the victims and the victims' families and all the victims that Alec Murdoch scammed. So people paid a premium. They got Alec Murdoch memorabilia. Some people call it murderbilia. But in return, the money goes to the victims. So I think overall, it is a good thing. My opinion about the auction, what was your thoughts on that auction? you think it was in good taste, bad taste? Do you think people... Uh, you know, pay too much for this stuff? Do you think any Alec Murdoch stuff is worth the money they paid for? I'd like to hear your insight. I am covering the Alec Murdoch case. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button, and check out my Alec Murdoch jail tapes. Jail tapes from behind tapes, but behind bars. And I'm also getting more tapes on Alec Murdoch. I'm in the process of that. When I get these tapes, jailhouse tapes, I will, re you know, share with all of you. Everyone be safe. God bless. Justice for the victims and their families.